president tonight last weekend on CNN said that I misspoke when criticizing NBC News analysis of the drone situation. Now, that's kind of curious, given that it was an NBC scoop. So Riley obviously misspoke, and I thought he'd just come back the next night and correct the record. Bill, the only reason there is a drone debate right now is because NBC News revealed that memo. Are you kidding me, Howard? Are you kidding me? Come on, man. The double standard of media coverage on waterboarding versus drones has been apparent for years. You don't know that? And don't give me any of this O'Reilly misspoke business. You know exactly what Beckel and I were talking about, or you should know. All right, joining us now from Washington is journalist Howard Kurtz. So what I want to do here, Howard, is get inside your thought process, all right? I'm going to ask you a series of very foolish questions so we can walk through this as the audience who may not have seen your show or my show know what we're talking about. First, did you see the original segment I did with Beckel the night it aired? Well, first, when you were chastising me, Bill, you called me your old pal. It was very touching. I want to thank you for that. I saw it live. I saw what most people in America saw, right. which is you saying, you heard anything on NBC about the drones? All right, so you saw it live. Do you remember how it was intro What was the news peg to get into Beckel? It was clear to me that you and Bob Beckel were talking about the outcry in the media and elsewhere about waterboarding during the Bush administration, as well as the relative silence, you would say, about drones. Okay, I got but, but, that. But, but, but it wasn't set up that way. It was set up in a different way. Do you remember how it was set up? Refresh my memory. Roll the tape. In the next segment tonight, will counterterrorism advisor John Brennan become the head of the CIA? He testifies tomorrow on Capitol Hill, but some liberals don't like him because he is the director of the drone program that kills terrorists from the sky. President Obama very bullish on the drones. These strikes are legal, uh, they are ethical, and they are wise. The U.S. government takes great care in deciding to pursue an al-Qaeda terrorist to ensure precision and to avoid loss of innocent life. I hear now to discuss his moral dilemma over the drone issue, the co-host of Five Bob Beckel. All right, so it was obviously set up as a discussion with a liberal, Bob Beckel, over his condemnation of waterboarding, but the relative silence over drones. And I used NBC News analysis as an example to back that up. So what's your beef? Well, Bill, I've already won this round on points because the other day with Bernie Goldberg, you said, yes, I guess I should have mentioned it. The NBC scoop was the elephant in the room that kick-started this debate. And on your larger point about the media and uh, the media being hypocritical here, with some exceptions, Newsweek, New York Times had a big story last year about Obama's secret kill list, liberal law professor now picking the names for who is to be targeted by these drones. Um, I would certainly be willing to say that uh, the mainstream media, much of it, um, more giving President Obama the benefit of the doubt on national security issues in a way that was not true with George W. Bush. Okay, number one, I said to Goldberg, I should have mentioned it only because it would have avoided all of this nonsense, all right? Not because it was done in a journalistic way. We weren't talking about reportage. And you just lost points by confusing hard news reporting about drones with the New York Times editorial page, which hasn't condemned, as far as I know, in any great measure, as they did with waterboarding, the use of it. What we were clearly talking about here, 48 hours after the NBC memo appeared, was why the left doesn't condemn killing terrorists with drones, unilateral killing, decision-making by one man, with waterboarding that kills anybody. You know it, and I know that it's hypocritical. Yet, you don't engage in that, you come after me. It's ridiculous. That was just a very mild, carefully chosen critique of your performance. But here's the larger point, Bill. In terms of the, uh, the, what you see as the relative lack of outcry, there was a passionate debate in this country about whether waterboarding is torture, led in part by John McCain. That was easy for the press and the commentators on the left to cover because it was so out there. In the case of drones, wasn't an issue in the campaign, but Romney didn't talk about it, I hear, didn't hear it in the debates, and so the press, including the commentators, have been too passive, in my view, just like they were in the run-up to the Iraq War, rather than making this an issue. It should be an issue. It should be well, debated. why haven't you You're covered right it then? Up. Why haven't you spent the time on it that you should have had? Look, you run a media show, and we, we did, we traced back your media. Very rarely did you cover this. Why not? 
I have done segment after segment going back to 2007 and 2008 on whether the media are too favorable, too sympathetic to Barack Obama. The fact that the drone issue, which conservatives no, 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 it's not about favorable to Barack Obama. It's about one thing: hypocrisy. You left is screaming about waterboarding, yet they're muted about killing with drones because they're in the tank for Obama. And you know it, and I know it, and so does everybody watching. Right? That might be. That might be true. Of might commentators. be true. Howard. Well, hold on, hold on. Might Come on, be don't. True. Let me finish a sentence here. It probably is true of commentators who are in, marching in solidarity with Barack Obama, but it is not true for many in the mainstream media who, while very soft in the 2008 campaign, and I talked about this and wrote about it at the time, uh, have been more diligent in covering this president. There's a difference between hard news reporting and analysis, and my discussion with Beckel solely was on analysis. We appreciate you coming on in very lively debate. We sure Thanks. you'll get a lot of email on it. and. Uh, Run on your program on Sunday and you'll get higher ratings. Yeah. Just <laughs> Being you because you're my pal. <laughs>